Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the use of a discrete sampling device known as a Kemmer water sampler. So, the device is basically a hollow copper tube with two end seals made out of black rubber and it is held open by a spring mechanism that slides on a rod that goes through the sampler, thus holding the two ends open to the water. The sampler is lowered to the desired depth, which is indicated by marks on the, the line. This is, you can't see it very well, but it's a black mark that's one meter. And when it reaches the desired depth, a brass weight called a messenger is lowered on the line. The messenger strikes the opening device and the sampler closes, trapping the water at that desired depth. Okay, I'm now going to demonstrate how to cock the sampler and get it ready for sampling. You simply remove the two end caps, pull it tightly, and the cocking mechanism locks onto the brass washer on top of the central tube and holds the end caps open. Now obviously the sampler should be properly cleaned and rinsed prior to use and the assumption is that this particular one is. Now we will then lower the sampler off the side of the bridge or if you're in a boat off the side of your boat down to the proper depth indicated by markers on the line. When we reach the desired depth, the messenger, the brass weight, is released, sliding down the line and locking, closing the sample. The sample is then retrieved and the water is decanted using a spring, spring-loaded valve in this fashion. After the sampler has been used, it should be cleaned and then stowed with the end caps not touching the interior of either tube because you don't want dents to be forming in the seals. So the unit is placed back in the case, dried off, and stowed.